Hey everybody, thanks for checking out And That's a Fact. Why you're seeing me and not Andrew Mir? Well, this week we're gonna show you a behind the scenes look at how we create And That's a Fact. And That's a Fact. One of the more commonly asked questions we hear is, where are you shooting this? Well, truth is we're shooting in Andrew Mir's living room. We set up three lights to light the screen, and the screen is nothing more than a nine foot roll of white paper. When the sides are visible in a wide shot like you see here, we take the footage into After Effects to mask out the lights and side edges. Because we are using a white backdrop, we can easily move Andrew around on the screen to different locations depending on the graphics. This also gives the show the feeling that we shoot in a really large space. What we use to shoot in that fact is a Canon 7D. This digital SLR shoots full HD video, and with this lens, 1585, we can work in a pretty tight space and get our wide angles plus our tight shots pretty quickly and efficiently. After shooting, the next step is going through all the footage and piecing together the fact. Andrew writes all these facts ahead of time, so the actual structure is quite simple. Once the sequence has been cut, the footage is brought into After Effects to add graphics. This is where all the images and titles you see popping up around Andrew get created. After the graphics are completed, it's time to add our sound. A lot of people don't realize the extra effects sound has in selling your images. Other mammals, such as whales and dolphins, use echolocation. See with their ears, using a special kind of sensory perception called echolocation. Our soundtrack comes from Apple Loops and originally featured horn instruments, which made it hard to hear Andrew. We removed the horn sounds and had Brickhouse's drummer, Ed Johnson, record us a custom drum track, which we then added to the song's existing bass line. That's pretty much how the show gets put together. So thanks again, guys, for checking our episode out every week. Andrew Mir will be back next week, Monday, with a new fact for you. And in the meantime, if you feel like watching the rest of the episodes, check them out here. Also, if you watch them on our YouTube page, be sure to subscribe. And if you see us posting on Facebook or Twitter, be sure to retweet. That always helps us get more publicity and, well, more views are a good thing. So thanks again, and we'll see you next week. Action. Wrong. Time properly.